Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 24th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And check out this sun diving comet. I just caught this today during my Dew Research Daily Events Worldwide. That was a pretty sizable comet. It's amazing to see because that is a big comet. Big flash. Look at that. It might be going behind the sun, but definitely nonetheless, heading towards the sun. Slow it down here, put it in black and white, and you can see the cosmic disturbance all around it as it's coming in and through to the sun very cool indeed i'm very happy that i caught this shot please share this video with everybody this is really cool to see and uh, thanks to the last go two images this is where i found it and then looking at our sun we pretty much have a dead quiet earth facing sun right now but definitely the sunspot departing still was not done and you can see on the right side there and then a little glitch but yeah definitely something was ejected a CME or quite possibly a flare not really sure I don't really look at the back side of the sun much But still amazing to see this dead quiet sun right now. No sunspots. They're both on the other side. We need some of this energy here soon. Or else we will dip into a mini ice age. Which I've been saying we're going to for the past two years now. I've been broadcasting on Morning Dew. And I've been talking about the coming of the mini ice age. And how we're going through a climate cycle. Not a climate change due to carbon. Uh, global warming if it was happening then yes there would be catastrophic flooding everywhere and there is but it's not what they were saying this is different now we're getting atmospheric compression events across the planet and more and more signs are pointing pointing towards the grand solar minimum 250 year cycle which our planet has been through before we need to adapt and we're basing all of this research on the sun because it is, it is the provider and the destroyer of life, all life on earth here we are looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes and latest is a 5.4 in Kalama Chile, 149 kilometer depth. Now that's a pretty deep earthquake for this area. So watch for a larger shallower earthquake to respond here, probably north. And we're already watching some action on the New Madrid here, Rock Creek, as well as Tennessee, a 3.7, 14 kilometer depth, fairly shallow earthquakes. But we also have San Andreas going a little bit. Petrolia, California. Moving up into the Cascadias. Small earthquakes there. We had that large 5.9 yesterday. And moving west along the plate. 4.7 and a 4.5 today. And still watching a lot of action in Indonesia. Towards the subduction zone. Mariana's Trench, the largest subduction zone in the world that we know of. I'm sure there are more that we were going to find. So here we're also looking at atmospheric compression earthquakes. We have large low pressure system affecting here. Cyclone Kenneth is about to drench Madagascar, or sorry, not Madagascar, Mozambique. 
Mozambique will be seeing about five days of rain straight. Watching in the five day forecast coming up here soon. Just going to look here at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. And it has been pretty busy. Look at that. Larger earthquakes straight up from South America to Mexico, Port Hardy in BC. Deep earthquakes all in Russia along the western ring of fire. Most recent earthquakes, subduction zone, large subduction zone in Marianas Trench. And then a couple earthquakes here in Africa, which I believe are due to atmospheric compression, where we have our collapsed magnetosphere and large amounts of rain. Here we are, five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Looking across North America, still cool temperatures prevailing here. And look at this, we have a snowstorm coming to Calgary, Alberta. So don't put away your shovels yet because that is a pretty good storm and we're probably gonna see about a foot of snow. Um, the Rockies, the foothills, they're probably gonna see about two feet of snow. So stay aware and prepared, avalanche season is in high alert right now throughout Jasper and Banff, the foothills. And we are on higher alert because we have got cold temperatures persisting across the northern hemisphere right now. Low pressure systems just making their way right into the North Pole and getting colder and moving around and around our planet. Looking here, five day forecast, look at this. Tropical cyclone Kenneth does not move from Mozambique for five days days so stay aware and prepared africa i know i know i have a lot of subscribers in africa so please stay aware and prepared and share with your friends and family from around the world as we stay aware of cyclone kenneth and as well cyclone lorna who ate up another low pressure system here in the five day forecast. I thought it was gonna be uh, 25, 26 and 27, but we also have 26, tropical cyclone 26, heading towards Sri Lanka in the five day forecast. So Sri Lanka is on alert for a cyclone and monsoon rains are really starting to pick up lots of moisture around the world are you ready? Because we're on the verge. Thanks for watching today, everybody. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.